Let's now look at the United States as New York is one of the worst affected regions in the world due to the COVID-19 pandemic. New York State has still now recorded close to 20,000 coronavirus-related deaths. And New York State Governor Andrew Cuomo, who has been holding daily press conferences to give an I overview of the situation, has now described the death rate in the region as quote-unquote terrifying. Cuomo said that while the number of new infections was down a little bit, the daily death toll remains around 300. He said the number remained obnoxious and terrifyingly high. Listen in to what the New York governor said. I said, if you look at the numbers, the number that I watch uh, every day, which is uh, the worst, is the number of deaths. That number has remained uh, obnoxiously and uh, terrifyingly high, and it's still not dropping at the rate we would like to see it drop. It, it even went up a little bit, 299, 289 the day before. So that is bad news. 276 deaths in hospitals, 23 in nursing homes. Talking about new cases reported daily, Cuomo said that the number was relatively flat at about 900. He said that while this number is not great, the number of new hospitalizations has gone down, certainly. The net change in hospitalizations is down a tick. Intubations is down, which is very good news. The new cases walking in the door, the new COVID cases, the number of new infections was also down a little bit, 831. It had been relatively flat at about 900 every day, which is not great news. Uh, yesterday was uh, 831. We'll watch to see what, what happens with that. Cuomo has ordered the New York State schools to remain shut for the rest of the academic year of 2019 till 2020. Academic year in the United States ends in June. He also warned that it is possible that classes for the next academic year may not begin on time in September either. Cuomo, however, said that the authorities were looking into the way and possibilities of how schools can be opened while following the distancing norms. He said a decision in this regard will be taken by the end of this month. Cuomo has already announced that New York's round-the-clock subway system will be resuming operations from Wednesday next week, but the services will not be 24 hours. Services will shut down daily from 1 a.m. till 5 a.m. to allow for cleaning and disinfecting. As of Saturday, more than 10,000 people remain hospitalized across New York State. At the peak of the outbreak, more than 18,000 had been hospitalized due to the coronavirus.